Hey everyone and welcome to a new video on Byte of Geek. Today I'm going to take you through five features that have been removed from Windows 11. So let's take a look. So first up is the taskbar and this is probably the thing which has been most talked about uh, with Windows 11 and uh, yes it's, it's not gone away it is still there however there's some significant changes to the taskbar which may well affect the way that you have previously used Windows so um, there's, there's two things really one is the um, the ability to move it to the side of the screen or the top of the screen uh, you just can't do that anymore and you know if you previously uh, with your w uh, Windows versions you uh, had this taskbar at the side because you wanted more vertical space that option's now gone. Um, likewise, if you wanted a, a, a deeper taskbar, something that's you know a slightly different size to what it comes like out of the box, that option has gone as well. And uh, you basically, you've just got this taskbar that runs along the bottom of the screen. Uh, you can move the buttons to the left, um, but that's about it. You know, everything is is really quite uh, static in the way that it works. And I'm guessing Microsoft have done this for a reason, um, you know, probably uh, because of the way that they've designed Windows 11 with the, the new uh, start menu. Um, maybe it just, you know, from their point of view, it just doesn't suit uh, being able to work from the side or from the top, something like that. So, so that's uh, definitely going to surprise a few people when they uh, upgrade from earlier versions of Windows. So the next item on the list of things which have um, effectively been removed from Windows 11 is the date and time in the bottom right hand corner, the kind of like the system tray area of your taskbar. Now you may be you know, perfectly happy with the default layout of your taskbar, but I will guarantee there are some users and certainly you know, there's, there's forums where people have mentioned this in, in that you uh, can now no longer remove the date and time from the taskbar. So in Windows 10, you could just go into the settings and go and toggle a switch there and it would disappear. You could also do this with a registry hack as well, um, but neither of those uh, work on, uh, on Windows 11. There just isn't the ability to remove that from the taskbar, so you're stuck with it. Thanks, Microsoft. So next item on the list is taskbar related again. Getting a bit of a theme with these things here. Maybe I should have changed the video title, but basically it's the way Microsoft have changed drag and drop on the taskbar. Now, Windows 10 and earlier versions, if you had a document on your desktop and you dragged it to, uh, say you had Word running on your uh, taskbar and you dragged that document into the Word icon, it would open Word with your document in it. Um, you can no longer do that with Windows 11. You just get a little um, access denied icon on the um, on the, the application that you're trying to drag the file onto. Um, it's the same if you want to actually take a file and, and make a shortcut and put it on the taskbar. You can't do that either. These are quite fundamental things in Windows. People have been using this for many, many years in, in their workflows and day-to-day and -day lives of using Windows. And I'm at a complete and utter loss as to why Microsoft would have gone and taken um, such a, a, a fundamental piece of functionality and removed that from their new operating system. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they will actually go back on that and introduce that uh, at a later date within Windows 11. So the fourth item that's been removed from Windows 11 is the live tiles. And you know, some people, I'm sure there's kind of like 50% of users will have used it and 50% won't have gone and used it. It really depends, I suppose, on whether you're uh, used to using that on maybe uh, Windows 8 and uh, maybe Windows Mobile. Um, you know, they were, it was kind of first introduced in those, uh, th those operating systems uh, predominantly. And, um, you know, you may well have used it for things like uh, news, your news feed or, uh, you know, stock tickers and stuff like that. But I, d I don't think it was like a super heavily used uh, part of the, the Windows operating system. And, um, you know, certainly it could have been developed out more by Microsoft by the looks of things with Windows 11. 
they've gone down the widget route again. So you know you're probably going to see more things being developed on that side. Um, you know, in order to to keep kind of like the the start menu as it were more focused on um, the application uh, element of of the system, which ultimately is a lot of users have been asking for that on uh, on Windows 10. So um, yeah, you know, as I say, you'll either love the fact that Live Tiles is going, or you'll you'll actually hate it and decide not to upgrade to Windows 11. And the fifth item that is being removed from Windows 11. I'm sure there's plenty of others, but the fifth one on this video is Cortana. Yes, the voice assistant to rival Siri and Bixby and uh, you know Google and Alexa, all that kind of stuff is being removed from Windows 11. Uh, I'm not sure whether it will actually come back into Windows 11 or whether it will come back into a future version of Windows, but um, you know, I, I use Windows on a desktop environment. I've never used Cortana. I'm sure Microsoft has looked at the stats and, and the research and there will be uh, an awful lot of people on a desktop environment that have not used uh, Cortana in their day-to-day -day, uh, use of Windows. On a, on a tablet, on a mobile phone device, something like that, you know, these are, it's probably perfect arena for Cortana to uh, be running, but, um, you know, desktop is where Microsoft Windows is, is run the most and um, well I guess users just didn't um, actually want to engage that much with Cortana so it is gone on Windows 11. Anyway guys that's my list of five things which have been removed from Windows 11. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments you know are you happy to see some of that stuff disappear? Did you know that some of that stuff was going from Windows 11 uh, or is there something else that you have noticed um, that maybe I haven't pointed out, which is probably more important than some of those things there. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments. Any questions as well, drop them down below. If you've uh, enjoyed the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Um, but as always, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.